My name is Milo Milo. My name is Monica. It's Joseph Kuma. It's Marianne Moore. Hi, I'm Shana Rabati. My name is Jaron. My name's Bevan Murray, and I am the general manager for Auckland Dream Basketball. I'm stronger now. I'll stand my ground. I'm wise enough to back myself. I'm free. The relationship that we have with the Dream was so that we could provide them with a sporting performance platform for them to, you know, do their SNC stuff so they can get fitter, faster, stronger. The relationship that we have with them from that aspect allows our students to get hands-on application and practice from what they learn in the classroom and to also be able to go out and apply it to a, a team and for the students that we given those opportunities to come and see athletes that are playing sport as you know their jobs and some of these athletes are working part-time especially from the women's point of view but it also gives them that learning from the theory to application. If we were having to pay professional market rates for trainers um, we just couldn't do it on on the budget for the women's game so to be able to have quality um, trainers come and work with you and a number of them it's something we wouldn't otherwise be able to do without the partnership. It's been awesome, um, especially for women's basketball. We don't really get facilities like that offered to us. So for MIT to step up and really help um, women's basketball here in New Zealand to push that and help us train and stuff. Um, with Jaron, I mean, with his qualifications, he could be training, you know, massive NBL teams, but for him to choose women's team to help out, it means a lot. And um, all the MIT people has been great. Um, it's not a big facility, but that's how we like it. I think it's really beneficial that you get the opportunity to actually go into a, like a real life job because you'll be studying in year one and year two and you'll be like okay I know how to do this I know how to do that but then when you go out into the real world you need to learn how to apply it to that. It's made me more confident about my craft, feel like I can coach better, it's just maybe better for my job, I feel more confident. You learn a lot more in detail, practically. So the students that we get through our system, we hope that we'll see them again in the future. Uh, once they've been out in the workforce and gained experience, and as our organisation grows, we hope we'll get those, um, those people back working with us on a professional level in the future. Every student that we've had from MIT has just really bought into the dream culture. I think they all go away, you know, um, loving the team, and they come back and watch our games and follow us, and. Um, um, yeah, and I think even when they leave, they still feel like they're, they're part of the team. You know, we got to know them really well. They started like, you know, becoming our friends and stuff, and then the next year there's new people. So we start being friends with the new people. But I think it's really cool. They make us feel comfortable just to train with them and show them, you know, they're there to help us. Before I started, I knew nothing. It gave me a lot of opportunities to interact with the basketball Auckland Dream, but I've also interacted with other teams like the Northern Stars, Manu Samoa um, rugby team, and that was all through MIT. There's just so many opportunities, like 100% I could say that, and I'm um, thanks to them that I have so much experience in not only training, but in specialised training and with elite athletes. And I can say, I the best decision I ever made of studying at MIT. I am MIT, where the best makers are made. <laughs>